All right, we're going to make all these shield shield belts, and I'm going to be way over the top in how I do it because uh, because I really badly want for us to have some goddamn uh, shield belts and a, rec a res mech serum to bring Megan back. Don't tell her I said it. Like she says, I have to take off, but hopefully the shield scheme works. I hope so. Thanks for the encouragement, Electric. It's great to see you. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, we have some there. Spriggit's going. Yeah, there you go. Oh, does it take Plasteel too? Uh-oh. Okay, I have enough. I have enough. That one's just components. This one is just going to be steel. I always struggle to get through the initial pain of like walking or running, uh, Astrid or exercising. I feel worthless and it's difficult to continue. Rebecca says it's not a real stream until Rebecca has talked about mental health issues. Oh, Rebecca, I love you so much. I'm so glad that you talk about stuff like this with us. I'm so, so glad. Lord knows I don't want to stream if this stuff isn't being talked about. That's all I want to say. <laughs> if this shit ain't being talked about, I don't know that I really want to be here. You know? Like in a larger sense. There are days when I don't. You know, it's probably not the thing I feel most up to, up to talking about. But today I feel great talking about it. I want to get back to bouldering. It's always been something I enjoyed. Dude, bouldering scares me though. I hear you, but bouldering scares me. That is a thing I do, I'm not sure that I feel able to do. Um, good on you. Exercising for the first time, not being able to do all the things you wanted, then hurting the next day is what discourages me. That's interesting. Uh, shit. How did I just do that? Hurting the next day is discouraging. I don't know why. But I've always kind of looked at the like hurting the next day as like a, a great piece of evidence. Like it's it's almost like undeniable evidence that uh, that you like tried hard or did your best or, or you know, like did something nice for yourself kind of deal, you know? Um, have you all seen 127 hours? Yeah. Yes. Uh, we can buy components. We can buy advanced components. Buy Plasteel. Shit. They got the shit on them right here. Guys, I cannot forget, but I have to, uh, I have to, uh... I have to accept this quest here in a little bit. Hmm. Okay, that's some good money. It was really good money. Really good money. Yeah, bouldering's like three meters only. Even if the, you're you're at the top, you're only about one and a half meters from the floor. It's nothing really. Yeah. It's just like I don't feel man, one of the feel one of the ways I really don't feel terribly uh strong as a human. It's getting better now that we're doing pull-ups. Um like one of the ways I really don't feel terribly strong is uh I don't feel like gripping is in any way my strength. You know, anything related to, to gripping, I'm like, uh We have four days on this. 3.8 days on that. Okay. 
Linux is going to make a shield belt. I think we have two shield belts so far. We should have two shield. Yeah, we do. Did you know there is a chase tag world championship? Wait, like tag the game? Like, uh, like you run people down and you hit them? You get used to it. You start with easy pocket holds and get onto smaller holds. I have loved, I've gone climbing in a couple climbing gym, like in climbing gyms a couple times. And every time I've loved it. Um, I have, in, I have, there's definitely been some fear in it, but it's always been like looped up, you know, like on a, on a harness. Um, but I've loved it every time, but also the next day I am like, I can't grip my, my spoon to eat my cereal, you know? I was looking through the channels the other day, and it was adults chasing each other. Panda says, it's really fun to watch. Parkour to the max. They have 20 seconds to catch the other person. Dude, I'm going to have to watch this shit. I'm going to have to watch it. I'm going to have to watch it. Astrid says, there are mats on the floor for bouldering, so as long as you don't... All on your head, you're fine. <laughs> Sounds fair. Alright, we're definitely gonna make seven shield belts. Uh, was it seven that we needed or what? Quests? It's, uh... We're gonna get so much good shit out of this, too. Seven shield belts of normal quality. Those are both normal quality. I'm having to make them in shifts, and we're making like almost three a day, I think. Wherever this third one went. Normal, normal. Great. Yeah, for sure. Astrid, did you watch, uh, did, have you watched any climbing movies? Or read any climbing books? Like uh, Free Solo or uh, The Dawn Wall with Tommy Caldwell. Uh, Mars is going to make the second one. Which is actually good. Timberwolf can go eat a dick. Yeah, exactly. Free solo. My butt clenches up just hearing the name. Megan and I watched it once in theaters, and then we loved it so much. We've seen it like three times, but we watched it twice in theaters. Once in regular theaters, and then in uh, in IMAX. Yeah, you think your butt's clenched up then? Uh-uh. Watch it in IMAX, man. Oh my god. I actually ended up reading the reading his book as well, Alex Honnold, and then uh, and then I read The Dawn Wall by Tommy Caldwell. Watched that movie. That was super good. Super good. Mars, what are you doing? Work at the fucking table. Finish this shit. I know you're tired, but that's fine. You have to listen. You have to do this. Dude, Astrid, I would totally recommend him. Super good. Super good. Um, I loved him a lot. Brigitte, let's have you work uh, now. That one's even good quality. Prisoner Orange, we may have a new... Let's go, guys. We may have a new... Uh, let's go, girls. We may have a new prisoner in the next... A new recruit in the next couple minutes. Let me make sure I have the list brought up. Rebecca says, I'm off to play some video games of my own. Love you loads, of course. See you tomorrow slash soon. See you, Rebecca. We'll see you soon. Have fun. Sprigget says, I'm still alive. You're still alive, Sprigget. Not only are you alive, but you are being a very key part of what we have going on here in Misery Town. I hope you had a great weekend, uh, Sprigget. How are you? Major break risk is Linux. Just go to sleep. Oh, he is sleeping. Okay. Not too bad. I'm working today. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I would say I'm. I would say I'm really good. Um, I'm 
I'm just gonna keep you working, okay? You got this. I believe in you, Sprigget. Sorry, I'm trying to do internal math here. Yeah, I'm, I would say I'm pretty good. Um, it's been a little bit of a hectic morning. Um, got a hectic week this week, but it's like the hectic I kind of... I love and I chose for myself. It's all the stuff that like... I want to do, so it's fine. You know? Astrid says, Staying alive, staying alive. Oh, 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 staying alive. I'm on a mission to DMCA you? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Penis says I want to rewatch Pokemon Indigo League season. I just rewatched. Is Indigo. Is Indigo Johto? Panda? I just rewatched. Uh, I'm actually two episodes away from finishing the entire first season of Pokemon in terms. Like, it's the first two seasons in terms of American audiences, first one season in terms of Japanese. Uh, we have a new recruit! Type in the chat if you're here, uh, and you would like your character named after you. Um, otherwise, I think this is Footnote. Is it Indigo is Kanto? Is that the first season, then? As long as you like it hectic, I guess it's okay. Exactly. It's the first season, right? Yeah, it is. It's the original. Okay, sweet. I just finished it. Well, I'm like three episodes away from finishing it. Dude, Panda, it was awesome to rewatch it. I watched it while I was, uh, exactly kind of like you were doing. I watched it while I was playing it. Like, while I was playing Pokemon Let's Go. Uh, Pikachu. Which was super fun. Indigo then, Orange Islands. That's right. That's right. Hunter lacks, lacks a ranged weapon. Guys, we have a new colonist. Say hello, finally, to Footnote, who has been uh, who has been waiting ages to be a, a part of the colony. Let's go is weird. Let's go is weird. Hey, cool guy, how's it going? Oh, cool guy, I have bad news. You just missed out on being the next character. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Let's go is weird. Not like other Pokemon games. Yeah, it's kind of a mix of Pokemon Go and Pokemon, the other Pokemon games, I would say. Yay, Footnote. Footnote is here. He's a stew keeper. Let's learn about him. Let's learn about him. He, he, he spent his childhood. She spent her childhood as a herder. Now she is a stew keeper. She's age 60. Uh, we always knew Foot was old at heart. Traits are optimist and tough, but also very kind. Honestly, that sounds like Footnote. Let's go. An excellent cook. That's definitely footnote. Um, zero social. That's ee, that's not footnote at all. Likes plants. Likes animals. Is a good melee. Decent at medical. Okay. Welcome to the colony. Footnote. Uh, yeah. You're gonna be a firefighter. Uh, you're going to. I don't know. What should we have you do? Honestly, I may have him help with the, uh, I may have him help with the hunting and the growing. And other than that, he's going to be a, uh, a hauler and a cleaner. Plant cut is one grow. Yeah. yeah okay. So footnote is going to be very like, uh, Kind of just doing the basics. Cool guy, how's your day been? What are you up to today? Panda, I don't know where you can find them, but uh, I think you can see them. I found them on the Pokemon, like Pokemon TV website. Uh, I could watch the entire first season. The entire Indigo League. Forget, please eat some chocolate. As soon as you are done. Uh, and Mars also, please go eat some chocolate. Never mind. I'm doing something else. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Seven. I think we're making our last one now. Let's go. Just woke up. Just woke up. Let's do a little bit of uh, quick little... Quick little trading. I'm going to sell all of my chickens because fuck those chickens. Um, <laughs> and let's see if we can sell some other stuff. I need, I need like, I need money badly. I need money. I could buy chem fuel. I could buy components. Probably should buy components. I could buy advanced components. I could sell you a whole shit ton of cloth. Late in the game, I feel like it's so much about this. It's just like managing the money situation. Um, a little bit of smoke leaf. Great, great. Great, great. Okay. Is there anything else I want to buy real quick? Sorry, just triple checking there isn't. I do want to buy Plasteel from them probably. Shit. That's going to make me broke. So just a little bit. Just a little bit. Are we are we about to be broke? Sure. That's fine. Yes, we are. Uh now Linux is back to that. Let's just go ahead and take the quest. We're also going to get a bionic eye and a bionic leg out of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven already. Linux clear. Okay. Let's do it. Footnote has a gun here. Let's go ahead and give him a different gun. No bionic hands or arms for me. I know, but we're going to get a bionic eye. <laughs> I know that doesn't really help you, but... <laughs> Spriggan says, do I still just have the one leg? Uh, yeah, your right leg has been shot off and your right hand is a wooden hand. So, yep. Yeah, great question. <laughs> it's true. Very true. Uh, I also didn't give footnote the normal work hours. I'm gonna move Mars's hours back to normal as well. Nope. I almost gave footnote the ability to just uh, rest literally all day. But no, let's uh, give you a gun, man. Equip the auto pistol, I guess. Uh, we should also go ahead and pump assault rifle up. And pump these up as well so that we have nine of each. And meals, we're already at 100. Okay. So, let's go form a caravan. Guys, we have a quest. Spurgis says, noise. Noise. <clears throat> is that the one? That is not the one. Uh, where is the quest? Oh, it's, it's the, the settlement of Tor, okay? 
Settlement of Tor. Uh, there's a vampire settlement there. The fuck is, the fuck is that? Tor. Uh, let's. Uh, request. I have a quest. Okay, so let's send a let's send a caravan. Form caravan to Tor. And back. Okay, uh, you need to take seven shield belts of good or normal quality. And I think that's everything. Uh, travel supplies are automatically selected. People and animals, we haven't selected anybody yet. Brack can move well, right? If you have a good moving skill, you get to go. Brack wants to go. Brack's going to get to go. Brigitte does not move so well because of the one leg thing. Uh, Linux is moving okay. Maddie moves well, right? Maddie can go for sure. Um... We want to send footnote. Does footnote move well? Footnote moves well. Let's send footnote. Sure. And then let's send surprise because he's always solo carrying or at least complaining that he solo carries. So let's just go ahead and send him. Uh, that's a good chunk of people. We take all that. They did have enough food. Let's take... Don't have any pemmican? How many days is this gonna? It's gonna take 2.2 days. Okay, sure. Let's just do it. Um, are you telling me that I'm not solo carrying? I mean, you're obviously solo carrying, but I need to solo carry back at home. I mean, I don't know. F it. We're just gonna send it. Uh, we're just gonna send it. Listen, I hope that I'm doing that correctly. All they need is seven shield belts of normal plus quality, and that'll work. Okay, let's do it. I couldn't send electric because uh, because electric. Are you guys leaving? Are you guys leaving somebody behind? Rack's all the way back here. Oh, you're about to go. Okay. See you guys. Good luck. Godspeed. We're just gonna pray that nothing uh, nothing slows them down. Never gonna give you up. Pray that nothing slows them down. This brigade has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Okay, then. All right, then. L love that. Love it a lot. This brigade's sleeping on the floor. But she's goddamn tired. Linux has had a rough day. Linux, do me a solid. Eat some chocolate. I know, it doesn't seem like it'll help, but I promise you it actually will. I promise you it actually will. I'm working on one leg and a wooden hand here. I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's really not good. We need to get Finote back uh, so that he can be our hauler. Our hauler for... Wait, wait, wait. We just had a prisoner named Orange. Now we have a second prisoner named Orange. I guess he's technically a wild man. Um, Let's see if we can get him to join. Sure. Who's our person back home who does this stuff? Wardening? Linux does. In the morning, I'm making waffles. In the morning, Linux is going to try to tame him. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. I'm feeling proud about where we're at right now. Feeling pretty good. Um, how many are we down to on that? Fine. We're gonna have to follow Linux around. See what he does. You're crafting. Wait, wait, did I say hunting? I did not mean hunt. I meant tame. I meant tame. Please do not hunt him. Jesus Christ. I just about made them... Oh, my God. I just about made them hunt this man down. What I meant was... 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 Was to go do the other thing. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we actually have to wait to do that until somebody else gets home because uh, nobody has a high enough skill with animals. the wild man it would be fun it would be fun but no we should not we should probably not as undoubtedly fun as it would be You ever have that you ever have those days where you just like can't get comfortable i'm like i don't know why but i'm moving all around the chair trying to get comfortable it's not happening recreation is unfulfilled maybe maybe everybody else was right maybe we should just make one of these rooms a recreation room should we do it Sprigger says, here, get comfortable. Do some push-ups. Do some push do some push-ups. Heal. Here is Sprigget. <laughs> Colonist needs rescue. What the fuck? What do you mean? Oh no! Did Electric and Linux get in a fight? Linux openly insulted Electric's family. This drove Electric into a rage, and she began to fight. Son of a bitch. Uh, David the pig is currently rescuing Electric, so that's good. <laughs> Love that. Mars, please go tend to Electric. Sometimes if I get up and do something and then sit down, it helps. It would also probably help if I had better posture. And sometimes I feel like the better posture thing just happens for like taking a couple deep breaths. I don't know. We make fun of Hero though because yo, Hero uh Hero cannot get comfy anywhere when he like he'll try and lay down uh he'll try and like hop up like we let him on the couch for instance he'll try and hop up on the couch and and uh and cuddle with us and he cannot and he cannot get comfy he just sits there and like spins in a circle and repositions it's crazy maddie's starting a fire What does that mean?
She's just out in the wild. You should make check your posture a, uh, a, uh, 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 channel point thing. I probably should, honestly. I'm gonna write that idea down. I like it. Duck says it means they like fire, Ryan. It means they like fire. I go through waves where I go, I like, I, I fix like, I try and, so I used to go through these waves, or I used to try for this habit where I would do like one thing a day to try and make stream better, like to fix something about stream. Um, I haven't done that in a while. I think the holidays kind of got in the way. I have this, now my list is just growing. It used to like grow and shrink at about the same rate because I'd, I'd fix something and then I'd add something and then I'd fix something and then I'd add something. Currently, it's like I've just added stuff for like a month. The holidays kind of messed up. Uh, I have all of these ideas of things I want to fix, but. Fix or do differently, but I haven't, uh, I haven't really done it. Okay, so what if we moved all of the recreation into these two rooms? Okay, so hear me out. What if... I think we're going to try it. An eclipse has begun. We have visitors. Excellent. Who is our best trader? Uh, Blaze, probably. Blaze will go trade. Things to change about the stream. Thing one, get good. Actually, it's spelled get goot. Thing two, get ripped. Thing three, acknowledge that I am actually Seb and he is actually me. Seb and I are actually the same person. Didn't you guys know? Yeah, didn't you guys know? Um... Okay, so this is all stuff I can sell. All they have for me is pemmican or herbal medicine, and otherwise I can just sell shit to them. This is a terrible deal, and I hate it. I hate it a lot. Panda's weeping bell just died? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Professor Sprout? This time. Oh, Panda, I'm so sorry. Are you doing the Nuzlocke rule of, uh, um, like once per, once per thing? One, uh, one Pokemon caught per area, and, uh, once they're dead, they're dead for good. And are you doing a randomized one or no? I don't know. I don't know if I asked you that part. Caravan has arrived. All right. Give shield belt. Yes. Quest complete. Yes. Uh, I think this bionic leg might become a uh, Spriggets, by the way. It's not randomized. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so now they can go home, right? Um, so now hear me out. What are you guys doing? You guys are resting? How do I get you guys to come home? I suppose we could also trade with you. I don't know. I could buy some food from you guys. That seems smart, actually, right? Buy some food.
He doesn't have any pemmican. Also plasteel, shit. Um, I'm gonna buy all your meals. I'm gonna hope that that does something good. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh shit. I could sell you some of this. Oh shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> It's not randomized, Panda says. Uh, I forgot about the not having any money thing. Um, I could sell you two Glitter World medicines. I could sell you a Bionic Eye, which I don't really need. I actually just sell you... I have no idea if this is going to work, by the way. So all of those... Do that. Cool. I want to keep the bionic leg. Try it. Now, how do I get him to come home? Now, how does this go? There we go. Go home. Yes, they're moving. Okay. I think they may still starve, but um, they are moving. So I don't think I fixed the uh, the food thing there, but that's fine. Presses, if you want to randomize ROM, let me know. You've lost three total Pokemon today? Oh, no, Panda. I really hope these guys make it home. We'll have like a day without food. Not great. Chad, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hey, Seer, how's it going? What's that? Um, does anybody else get chap lips during the winter? I don't get terribly chap lips, but like a little bit. Just enough to be annoying. Not enough to be painful or to bleed most of the time, but like, or to, or to really be uncomfortable, but just annoying. Chap sticks my best friend in the wintertime. What actually happens for me, what actually happens is I get fucking, uh, I get cold sores. I get... Stress and cold related cold sores and they suck so bad and a hundred percent they happen Um In the winter way more often and then they get and then they get chapped and then it's then it's not good Sorry you get cold sores Oh, uh, getting cold sores is not the worst of it. Getting cold sores is, is like, annoying, but not terrible. <laughs> By far, this is gonna, this is gonna dig deep, chat. Are you guys ready for this? This is gonna dig really deep. By far the worst part about getting cold sores is that getting cold sores is a, uh... I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this information wrong, and I wish Megan were here for it. Um... But cold sores are a type and very much not like the other type, but a type of herpes. And when I tell you that my high school experience was made a million times worse by the fact that people but by the fact that, like, around freshman year, it seems like people figured out a cold sore is a group of tiny, painful blisters caused by the herpes simplex virus. When I tell you that my high school uh, experience was made in ter was made terribly worse by that fact, 
I am not exaggerating. It was the dumbest shit. I had such a, like, uh... Oh my god, I had such a rough time. Um, there's like two types. One is the uh, the genital type, and one is the uh, the type that causes cold sores. <laughs> and I, <laughs> to be clear, only have one of those, and it's the cold sore type. Um, but teenagers can be fucking terrible. Yeah, and I had such I had so much like shame and everything wrapped up into like. I'd get a cold sore. Uh, one, it's painful and annoying. And two, uh, it's just like, I would then like walk or I'd like hide my lips behind my hands. I'd like, you know, do this a lot. Hide my, hide my lips that way. Like, oh my God, it's the worst. I feel like teenagers sometimes just like latch on to the thing that makes you different. And they're so happy to make that the thing, you know? To, to drive a wedge in between those things. Combat supplier, let's have Linux do it. Uh, sounds good, Duck, see you tomorrow. Yeah, it's great to see you. I hope you enjoy the movie and the walk. Sears so says, that's the heating in the home, dehydrates dehydrates you humidity is too low you need a good humidifier we have a good humidifier and we run it every single day for sure for sure it also just gets to like negative 10 here yeah yeah <laughs> it gets to like negative 10 here and you live in oklahoma so i'm sure you know too but like yeah that's part of it let's see if we can buy anything here buy components they're always good See duck. Uh, what else here? Nothing great there. Anyways, my life got so much better. Uh, later in life, I. So two things. Two things. This is the. You guys are getting the full real. The very real. I don't want to sell anything to these people. Damn. Guess I'll buy that. My life got so much better. So I tried all these like different and really, really un ineffective um, methods for getting rid of cold sores early in life. Uh, like basically like, like pastes or like kind of chapstick like things you'd put on and none of them worked well at all. And, uh, and I, it basically just seemed like I would have cold sores for like five days. As an adult, in the last year, as a as a twenty seven year old adult, Megan uh, incredibly changed my life for the better. When there's this prescription, there's this prescription drug you can get, which is like not that expensive. It's just two pills that you, it's it. You take two pills in the morning and two pills in the evening, the day that you get a cold sore. So it's twenty four hours of pills, and everything is immediately better. Like I will take, I will take the the pill, whatever it is. I don't know what it's called. I'll take it, and things get better literally immediately. Literally immediately. Um, like I'll feel five minutes later, the swelling will go down and things are better, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ! If it was this easy, how long have we had this drug? Like if it was this easy the whole time, why did I go through all that, all those years of pain and suffering? Anyways, the air outside is usually dry in the winter, even though you have snow. Indeed. 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 Uh. Uh-oh. The dude died. Uh-oh. Somebody want to... Somebody want to haul him to a... No, no, no. Can we... Can we... Can we... Can we... Mm, can we cremate him? He's just, a, he's just, oh, Jesus. Can we cremate him now? Mm, this is the same problem we had earlier. Oh, shit. We can't cremate the man?
I named my new polywag uh, Webecca. For our Rebecca? Leon says it's the opposite in the UK, Seer. We have too much rain here. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't have a a, uh, a a liquid problem. Doesn't seem that way, at least. Okay, colony's popping off. Soon we should have a new person here. Uh, any minute we or uh, any any minute we should have the uh, the group back. I think they're like almost out of food. No, they're fine. Great. Yo, I don't know why, but we're having an unseasonably, unseasonably warm day. It's a whole 43 degrees today. That's way warmer than it was supposed to get. Major break risk. What do we got going on? Linux is having a tough time. Linux, uh, let me introduce you to a little friend of mine. I think I think she'll treat you really nice. Her name is Chocolate. Well, Spurgett says I tried boiling water at the kitchen in my old apartment and found out when the walls started melting that the previous renter smoked in the kitchen. So the wall started melting because they did like it had uh because it had like messed the paint up in some way like the paint was running or something or like uh or bubbling nicotine was built up where the walls yellow from the smoke guys we have new animals uh i'm gonna need a couple nick i'm a couple i'm gonna need three i'm gonna need three Animal names. Three goat names. If you have names for goats, I'd love to have them. A whole colony's back. Once again. Actually, you know what? No. Cancel that. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. There we go. The walls were all cheaply painted, so it wasn't obvious at all if the beige, yellow, whatever color was the paint or the old nicotine. Ah, oh, we got some incredible animal names. Let's go. Number one. Billy. Number two. Goat. Goat the goat. I love it a lot. Um, number three. We have Panda. Named by Panda. Excellent. Love to see it. <laughs> Panda wanted a colonist, but, uh, your colonist is already dead, so I guess you get a goat. Spriggett, when we first moved into our house, uh, two almost two years ago now, almost two years ago, um, we actually, uh, so we didn't know, like, <laughs> we didn't know, uh. We didn't know anything about fireplaces, but we have this nice wood-burning fireplace in our home, which is really cool. Like, uh, you know, I'm obviously fucking stoked that we have one. Um, it's awesome. I feel... It feels cool. Um, however, we... Uh, we didn't know anything about it. We bought the house, and like... So before we had moved anything into the house, we decided... I decided that... It was, it was Valentine's Day coming up. I decided we were going to have our first Valentine's Day in the house. There's nothing in the house, but we're going to get takeout, Chick-fil-A, take it there, eat it on a plastic card table in the middle of the empty living room, and that was going to be uh, our first Valentine's Day in the new house, um, which was awesome. I'm glad I did that. 
However, um, once I did that, uh, I so I like I planned ahead and I turned the heat up because they kept the heat down because of uh, you know, no one's living in the house, etc. So you keep the heat down. Um, once we uh, I got the heat turned up. I uh, I got everything ready. But we didn't. We we put a log in the fireplace because I was like, oh, that'll be really romantic. We'll serve some wine to Megan, um, etc. Uh, so I got wine. I got everything. I was like, yeah, yeah. We'll put a we'll put a fire in the fireplace. Um, put a log in. Didn't know how exactly the uh, the fireplace worked. So we just put the log in and closed the vents on the front. I didn't know what a flue was. A flue is, uh, is for those of you who don't know, it's a, it's a vent you open so that you're not just like open to the outside air all the time. You have to open it, then you light a fire, air goes through the, the, through the flue um, and out of the house. I didn't open the flue. Yep, did not open the flue. So after about uh, 10 minutes, uh, we were like kind of getting smoked out of our own house. Uh, we spent our first Valentine's Day with all of the windows in the entire house open. It's fucking 20 degrees outside. I'm, I have the, the front door open and I am fanning it. Like attempting to get smoke out of it. We just painted. We just finished painting. Which is actually kind of nice because since it was new paint. Motherfucker. Shit. We have another one of these. Um, it was new paint, so it actually didn't smell like smoke for very long. It smelled like smoke for like maybe two days. Um, but yeah, it was fine. Yep, we figured it out. We called Megan's mom. Um, figured it all out eventually. But yep, go equip this incendiary launcher, guys. We have a fucking problem. Thousand bits. Let's go. Wait, it has the. <laughs> Spriggan, thank you for the a thousand bits. It also has it has a an emote beside it, which is just. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Thank you for the thousand bits. Um, that's both cringy and hilarious. Yeah, I mean we're like yeah, this is like three years ago probably. Twenty five, two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, I'm like 25 years old. Didn't know what a flu was. You're not the first one? I bet not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is one that just causes a psychic drone immediately. You know what I think we're going to do here? I think we're hopefully going to wait until... Uh, until... God, I need one more... I need one more pet name for a donkey. I got too many fucking animals, bro. I have too many animals, chat. I need a pet name for a donkey. We're gonna wait until somebody shows up and then they're gonna help us help us fight this. Kong? Incredible. 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 It literally says here, Kong, comma donkey. Kong, comma donkey. I love it. I love it so much. Okie dokie. Well, well, well. We'll move that there eventually. All right, cool. Oh, chat. I don't know about this shit. But no, it's got a major break risk. What's going on, Footnote? What's what's so wrong? It's dark out there? It is dark out there. You have an awful bedroom? I wouldn't call it an awful bedroom, quote-unquote. It ain't great, maybe, but it isn't awful, necessarily. Are you still sleeping over here? Yeah, yeah, that's an awful bedroom. Never mind, you're right. 
You're right. You're right. Hear me out. What about living like here? We can make this one your bedroom. There you go, footnote. How's that? Yeah. I hope that's the worst. I hope that's the worst mistake we ever make um, in our home. It's forgetting to open the flu. It was a hilarious, like, a hilarious, like, uh, we go from being so, seeming so adult, and then really, like, coming to terms with our own non-adultness, you know? Uh, but note is technically a hunter. Yeah, he is. Hmm. I don't know about that. Also, major break risk? Hear me out. First thing in the morning, get up, consume a little bit of chocolate. Nope, actually, I woke you up early at 3 in the morning to go eat chocolate. Okay, well, sorry about that. Yo, Leon! Let's go, thank you! Thank you for the gifted sub. Holy shit, sexy Mexi. Smexi gets the, uh, gets the emotes. Thank you, Leon. That's super kind, man. <laughs> Your fifth gifted sub, too. Thanks, man. Uh, I can deconstruct that. I feel like my people are just not getting shit done. I feel like there's so many jobs here and they're not getting any of them done. Share the love. I love it. I love it. It's a heat wave. I love that. Tell you, tell you what I really love is that. Tell you what makes me so fucking happy is, is that. Great. Beautiful. Guys, we have, I just now realized, but we have the, uh, the mech thing. Should we bring Megan back? How do we use it? Guys, I think it's time to bring, should we bring Megan, Ma Megan back right now? Or should we do it first thing tomorrow when Megan might be able to be there? This is the question. Now that I've said it, I kind of want to wait until first thing tomorrow, and then we could m bring Megan back. She doesn't know that we can bring her. We could begin Mac right now, if you want, or Megan back. Me Megan Mac. I think we I think we should maybe do it first thing tomorrow. She has no idea that it's coming. Also, no, we're not doing it right now, because if we do it right now, we're going to bring her back. And then these bitches are going to kill her. For sure. 100%. I know exactly. I know how my luck goes. Um, 110%. That is what will happen. Uh, Sprigget, do me a solid and go make uh, some EMP shells. Yeah, we're doing it tomorrow for sure. I don't know if she'll be able to be here tomorrow, but we're just going to wait. I'm not risking it. Masterwork. Electricus created a wooden dining chair. It's a masterwork. Beautiful. The best wooden chair you've ever seen. Maddie's having a really tough time. Maddie, eat some chocolate. Eat some chocolate. Now Maddie's throwing a tantrum. Did you eat the chocolate or not, Maddie? I'm just saying, I think this is not exactly my fault. If you'd have eaten the chocolate, like I asked, maybe. Uh, also, let's do... Reinstall a battery right here and reinstall like six turrets and by six i mean like five i probably should move those farther away cancel cancel cheers uh cheers suppress
be like there. Okay. We're gonna install a bunch of turrets like there. Like how full is that bottle? That's a great question, surprise. It's a god goddamn great question. It'd really be a shame if I answered it, wouldn't it? Guess maybe you're just going to have to guess that yourself, aren't you? Mm, let's do like that. All right. Maddie's pissed. Maddie's bumping shit. How full is that bottle? As full as I want it to be. Thanks so much for watching this episode of our RimWorld playthrough. If you liked what you saw, I would really appreciate a like on the video. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for more RimWorld.